we are all similar, all different. This picture reflects our genetic diversity, our strength and wealth. Today, I share with you my story, the story of a young Tunisian woman geneticist passionate about genetic diversity. I started as a molecular anthropologist studying ancient DNA in France to try to draw migration flow. Every time a population colonizes a new land, there are genetic adaptations. And so, North Africa has a high level of genetic diversity compared to Europeans, for example. We have shown that North African populations the genetic background of these North African populations is made up of genetic contribution of various origins, North African, Eurasians, and Sub-Saharan. This great genetic variability highlights the passage of many civilizations since prehistoric time. So, North Africa's population, like a mosaic, represents a powerful model to decipher complex mechanisms in biology, like those related to disorders. In fact, North African countries are facing an epidemiological transition characterized by a decrease of infectious diseases, but also an increase of genetic and multifactorial disorders. These diseases are serious, chronic, disabling, and require a long-term specialist care, which represents a burden, a heavy burden for a socio-economic burden for North African populations and countries. In Tunisia, for example, there are more than 400 genetic disorders, and for 45 percent of them, the molecular etiology is still unknown. Regarding multifactorial disorders, the prevalence of type 2 diabetes is 13 percent, and the prevalence of metabolic syndrome is 30 percent. Being sensitive to these epidemiological situations, I declined the offers of a job in France after graduating. My competence, my background with ancient DNA is unique competence in the region. I felt I had a responsibility to come back to Tunisia to help and to adapt my knowledge to the Tunisian context. So, we perform DNA typing for a large spectrum of genetic disorders in order to understand their molecular etiology. Regarding monogenic disorders, our studies allowed the molecular characterization of these diseases, permitting early, even pre-symptomatic diagnosis and preventive interventions. In addition, we perform multidisciplinary investigations of type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome, based on the integration of various data, including clinical, genetic, nutritional, and microbiotic characteristics. In the frame of international collaborative projects, we are working on the identification of new biomarkers to better understand the etiology of type 2 diabetes, to prevent, uh, to uh, improve the health care of patients, and to prevent complications. Otherwise, using my, I have used my skills on ancient DNA to assist with the creating of new protocols for human body identification in forensics. So we do have developed for the first time in Tunisia a rapid and effective molecular protocol to identify body, human body in uh, uh, forensics using DNA extracted from teeth. All this work is a huge challenge, because in spite of such genetic variability, we must adapt our technology to deal with the limited funding and infrastructure. But we are hard workers, and with our scientific excellence, we can have achievements and 
innovations. We can do this. I'm to be proud of. So, North Africans. North African genetic diversity. It's a powerful tool to decipher complex mechanism in biology. It's our strength and our wealth. Thank you.